Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey guys, start. Let's start from now. Okay. Uh, Again, start from now. Okay. You know, whatever that has happened, let's put it behind. This is the time for us to turn things around. Yeah. And then start from the warm up. Let's yeah. see the urgency and everything. That is what it's not about quality. We talk about quality, we have everything. It's all about the heart, the greatness, that is what we need. Okay? So let's go out there, let's start. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Daily Porcupine, the ultimate Kozak fan channel. If you're new here, you know what to do, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Well, 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 the captain has left the club, Felix Annan is finally, I don't know if I'll call it free or what, because he wanted to leave for some time. Everyone knows that Felix Annan wanted to leave, um, they, they couldn't negotiate with any club, they couldn't talk with any club, and they just decided to terminate his contract. To me, I felt that... You could have sold him, even if it's just small money to just fix him some, maybe in wages and something. You should have sold him to allow the club captain to go for free when he's not that old. I think if he signs for another club and they sell him abroad, they will say because I don't know how to do business, right? So I feel um, he should have gone for a fee, like someone would have, um, could have, would have done business with someone and they sold him for a fee. But well, he wanted to leave, he wanted to terminate his contract. I, I guess that's what he got. And, you just be proud of him just be happy for him um, thank him for all, all what he has done for the club and wish him well for the future because i don't think any goalkeeper um, in the last 10 years has made more impact in the ghana premier league as felix annan has done in the country because i think he's a very very good goalkeeper the first time i started covering kotoko um, in kumasi I went there, I think it was during the CAF Confederation under CK Kono. I went there and they said we had a press conference and we were talking to the security people. We said the coach and the captain is coming. I was expecting, uh, what you call, I was expecting a multi-frimple, but it was Felix Anna that came. So when he came, the way he spoke, the way he talked about the club, it was just heavenly. Like, it was as if he owns the club, he was so in love with the club. I admired how he talked about the club. I felt that, wow, this guy has what it takes to play for this club. I was very happy to hear him talk about Kotoko because whenever he talks about Kotoko, he talks about Kotoko with all his heart. And that is what you expect from someone that is the club captain. And Felix Adan is someone that shows you what it means to play for Kotoko, what you should give whenever you're playing for Kotoko, what you sh should expect whenever you're playing for Kotoko. He talked about how the fans will influence everything you do, how the fans will, you know, um, influence decisions in the club and how they will motivate you to play for the club and that is who Felix Annan was. So, fast forward, he became the captain after Emos Frimpong left. He, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure everyone will agree with me that he did a very good job as the captain of the club. He did very well in that position. He tried his best to make it known to everybody that Kotoko is a big club. Kotoko is the biggest club in Ghana, one of the biggest in Africa, rich in culture, rich in tradition and everything. I think Felix Annan is a very, very good and very, very great person when it comes to people that have played for Kotoko. He's one of the greats at Kotoko because I feel that he had all the qualities one would use to describe I'm a great Kotoko player. So when I heard that he he terminated his contract with the club, I thought it was a joke because I couldn't believe that Kotoko would let him go for free. But unfortunately, it was true and he has left the club. And I think it's a sad day for all Kotoko fans because they would have expected him to go for a fee. So fast forward to when we appointed Maxwell Konedu. People are saying it was because of his, uh, what do you call it, the wedding he did. That was why he lost his his place me i'm telling you that it is not the wedding it's not the wedding it's just i don't know i don't know i think only maswekonidu can explain why felix adam was dropped because if you're the club captain you go for a wedding you come back you go back to the squad because you took permission for the wedding the the coach says it's okay go ahead and do the wedding you come back and continue playing that's what they probably told him he came back and he lost his spot and he got injured and that's how his Kotoko career went down. He he was the best goalkeeper in the country. He got the Black Stars call up. I think he was called up to the Black Stars but like two or three times before he was dropped because uh, Maxwell Kunedu 
drops him too and he wasn't playing at Kotoko. So I feel that the way we treated him at the end of his career at Kotoko was unfair and I think he needs more explanation because right now no one can tell me that it was because of his wedding that um, that he was sidelined and he couldn't play a game for Kotoko. So I feel that we owe him an explanation, especially the coach, the management of the club. They owe, they really owe him an explanation because you can't tell me it's the wedding. It can't be the wedding. I'm sure there's something going on that we are not aware of. So when Razaka Balora came, well, first of all, uh, when our second keeper came, um, Kwame, he, he played fairly well and everyone was in love with him. So fans are even supporting him to be the number one goalkeeper. Felix Anand height is not good. The reason that's an excuse that Felix Anand is too short. I was like, what? Felix Anand short where? Please use another excuse. Felix Anand has been good. He has been saving penalties, saving um, Kotoko from, you know, very, very deep um difficult situation so i feel that he he deserves uh, a very good explanation to explain or to tell him why he was dropped from the first team so when everyone was talking about his height i was i was i was laughing because it's not a proper excuse to tell me that uh, kotoko uh, the coach of kotoko master kennedy dropped felix Anand because of his height it doesn't make sense it's really it doesn't make sense so when Rosaka Balora came, everything became, you know, very tight. He became number one because he had Black Stars experience and he was that without a club. They called, they called him to a Black Star, he was without a club and they brought him at Kotoko. At Kotoko, you know, if you're, if you're doing well at Kotoko, everyone wants to gang up against you. Rosaka Balora was doing well and he just made few mistakes. Only one, I think on, all the mistakes he made, only one led to a goal. And that was when everybody came down on him. Felix Adam got his opportunity again and he got injured and that's it. After that, he wasn't uh, picked again. I, I, I can't remember his last appearance for Kotoko. I think it's in the MTNFE Cup because Felix Adam, unfortunate, I think it's unfortunate the way his career ended at Kotoko. And last season, he could have gone away, got like left the club with a trophy, but unfortunately, we didn't do well in any of the competitions, the FA Cup, the African competitions, and the league. So I feel that Felix Anna is one of the greatest players to have ever wore the Kotoko shirt. Greatest player to wear Kotoko, one of the greatest players to wear the Kotoko shirt. So I think he deserves all the admiration, all the praises, and all the support he needs. So I think he is one of the best players Kotoko have ever had. So I'd like to know your thoughts, put that in the comments below and tell me what you think about Felix Anand and everything um, he has done for Kotoko. So I think that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed, do it right now. Till next time guys, goodbye.